All right, hey guys, this is Ian with Camp Nerd, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a form completely transparent with the controls still visible to you. Now, it's been a while since I have uh, posted some videos, and which is in the meantime of all not posting videos, I ended up and I created me a custom desktop screen recorder and this is one of the lot of things that a lot of people have asked in the past is how to have a Windows form completely transparent but still retaining the visibility of the controls and so this is what I'm gonna show you and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a Visual Studio Community 2015 and as that's loading we're just going to do some basic codes. It's really not that hard to do this at all. It's just one line of code. And so what you're going to do is when the Visual Studio comes up, you're going to press on New Project. And then as the new project comes up, as you see, it's initializing the templates and everything. You're going to click on Visual C Sharp. And then you're going to click on Windows Form Application and then you can change it we're just going to do this as how to make a form transparent and then we're just gonna leave it you can change the location I'm just gonna leave it there so we're gonna click OK and continue as you can see it's creating the project and you see as the form comes up we're going to resize this form a little bit there's different ways you can do it you can do a borderless form or you can do a form like this right here I like doing the uh, borderless form at a maximize because there's some really cool stuff you can do with it but what we're gonna do right here is we're just going to however you do your form uh, if you do the form if you look at the properties and when it says form border style you see it says sizable and then if you have sizable you can actually resize it to uh, whatever size now you can also do none which makes it borderless and on the previous tutorials I showed you how to make a borderless form movable that is if you're not having it transparent if it's going to be transparent then you're not really going to have to worry about the uh, being able to move the form because you can still click through stuff even with the form is maximized so what we're gonna do is to show you that it's transparent what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sizable form now also you wanna come down here uh, default location center screen just for this purpose we're gonna do it this way now your control box which is if you notice if I turn it to false it's your control box up there the exit minimize and maximize we're just gonna leave that on for right now because I'm gonna come back to that here shortly so now since we're here at the form you're just going to double click on the form and you're gonna come to the form one load alright now in the form one load you're just gonna put in this dot trans and the IntelliSense will finish it out transparency key equals and then you're just gonna do back color and sh and you're gonna close it off with a semicolon and then now you have done all the code that you need to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it and we're gonna run it and I'm going to minimize the dev environment so you can see that it is completely transparent there's the Windows 10 window you can see my folders over here you can bring it full screen and it has this bar across the top most people really doesn't like that bar being across the top because it will actually block the view of what you're doing so what we're gonna do is we're just going to bring this down but we're gonna exit it's stuck okay so we'll do it this way we'll go here we'll click stop I have never had that happen to me before on a form 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go to form one. And then as you notice down here, it's center screen. We're going to take that and we're just going to put it in Windows default location, the normal. We're going to put maximized on that. And then for the form border style, we're going to put none. All right. Now, whenever we run it, see right here it's actually running but you can't see anything now you're like yes I have a form that's completely transparent and so now how are how is the controls going to show up on that so what we're gonna do is we're going to put a button go to the toolbox let's grab us a button bring it over here and what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna set it about right there and then we're just going to change that to what we know what it is and it is going to be exit and then let's change that to btn exit and so now this is going to be our exit point which is in the btn click event what you're going to do is you're going to put in application dot exit and what this does is whenever you click on that button it will exit the application to show you how it works we're just going to click on start to run it and then as you see the button is there and the form is gone and then we click on the button still has the functionality and it's visible but let's say we want that button to stay down in the lower right hand corner so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the anchor to right or no excuse me it's going to be left and bottom that will make this right here this button stay in the exact point where you put it right here in the right hand bottom all right now what we're going to do is we're going to run it Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let me correct something here. Yeah, usually it'll do that if you go from here to here and then you click off. It's not going to recognize it. So basically just click up above in the grayed out layout, layout to where it says bottom left. Now we can run it. And then as you see the exit button is right there if you're wanting to do a screen reader like I did I customized my own screen reader uh, I have a, not really everything implemented into it yet but it's enough to where I can do the tutorial videos I don't have the webcam in yet but I will be implementing that here soon and if I get a lot of uh, likes and comments on this video I'll actually show y'all how to create y'all a high definition fast desktop screen recorder and it will also not have a time limit so if you wanted to you could go for four hours on one video I know a lot of video oh, the, the desktop screen recorder the video only lets you go 10 minutes or 15 minutes and you got to stop it and everything so this right here will kind of give you a customized screen reader to where you have no time limit whatsoever and now the cool thing about this is you see the exit button and you see that the control is visible you can basically one of the cool things is you can click on several different things and it still goes and which is I mean you see that right there is kinda awesome I mean I can bring up my notepad which is on my other screen I can bring up Visual Studio I can close it and it's all still within the form and the reason why it does this is the form is transparent which is it also makes the computer think it's not even there but all the controls inside the form is still there so basically you retain the functionality and the visibility of the controls but your form has completely disappeared and this is exactly how I do my screen reader so that way that whenever I click on something the form is catching 
everything that the screen capture does. And so, like I said, if you if I have enough comments, likes, and subscribes, then I will show you also how to do the screen reader. And this right here is how you make a form completely transparent while retaining the functionality and visibility of the controls that you put in the form. Now, you can do all types of forms. It really doesn't matter what you do. And it's just really, really simple. It's one line of code, which is that right there. This dot transparency key equals back color. That's the only code that you need. And I hope this tutorial helps a lot of people and answers a lot of questions. Remember, this is Ian with Camp Nerd. And follow me everywhere. It's the description is going to be down in the... Uh, or the links will be down in the description. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, my website. This, these videos are posted on my website as well. So you can follow me anywhere. Come to uh, Twitter. I'm a very social guy at Ivan Systems. And I hope to see you all in the next tutorial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel. Help me support to bring the best in computer tutorials out. In plain, simple English, you don't have to be an expert. Or, and you don't have to be a mediocre. You can be first out starting. This is what Camp Nerd is all about, is to teach the ones who don't know how to code how to code without all the boring lectures that most college people give you. So this is Ian with Camp Nerd. I'll see you in the next video.